One of the most popular topics in the personal development industry is what is a person's morning and an evening routine? You know, when you look at a lot of the most successful people in the modern era or throughout history, they've had really powerful and consistent morning rituals or evening rituals. But really, when you look at the similarities, the main thing you see is that they dedicated a specific period of time to focusing on their core action and their core goal. Now in this video, I wanna share how to stay motivated and actually reach your goals, and it's gonna be something you may not typically hear. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now before we hop into today's video guys, I wanna introduce you to this company I've been partnering with, a really cool journal, which is called The Six Minute Diary. So the six minute diary is really, really cool. Totally up my alley. This product was sold over 150,000 times, translated into 14 languages. Now it's really up my alley because it's a journal that fuses your daily rituals with personal development and some kind of personal reflection. And you can see that it's really structured the way I would basically structure my own journal. It starts with the introductory stories and the personal development lessons, the overview of how it works, the fundamentals, the morning routine, the evening routine. So I wanna walk you through here, the overview and the sample pages. You have gratitudes, basically the wins that you're gonna do for the day, how you make your day great, affirmations. The evening routine is basically what your good deed was today, where you're gonna improve, and the moments of happiness. So it's definitely catered towards your morning routine, affirmations, um, really what your intentions for the day. So really neat because you also have the weekly questions are actually different each week and they're something that help you improve your self-knowledge by thinking in different ways. Totally something I'll use right along the lines of what we talk about here. Now that's the six minute diary. There's also a free ebook in the description about the rituals of famous people you can check out. Now for me, one thing I've been thinking about a lot is after reading the biographies of Einstein, Nikola Tesla, of Malcolm X, of all these great physicians throughout history, you tend to see that this is a story of love and grit. And so when it comes to this idea of how do I stay motivated, it's interesting how uncommon you hear this in Olympians in the modern era or in these great people of history. You know, you think about people like Frederick Henry Royce, creator of Rolls Royce, one of the most luxurious cars you can buy. And Frederick Henry Royce was so obsessed with creating the highest quality, most perfect vehicle that he would often go without eating sometimes for days. And they had to have a little boy walk around with milk and bread to remind to feed him because he was so in flow, so focused on the love of his craft and improving that he didn't even notice all those things. Think about the difference when you're at your job or at the last job I was at. It's like you can't wait to eat lunch. You can't wait to eat your second lunch. You can't wait to eat a snack to get another coffee to eat a pastry. It's boring. You're like literally so bored, you're trying to figure out what else you can possibly do. But when you think about these icons of history, when you think about Nikola Tesla, I mean, he literally worked himself so hard that some nights he would sleep zero hours, or sometimes the rumor was that he averaged under four hours a night for a very prolonged period of time. I mean, he averaged under five hours a day for such a prolonged period, I think of months or years, that he actually collapsed and he had multiple health crises throughout his life from the lack of eating and the lack of sleeping. It was the love of this process, the love of solving this problem that drove them so much. And Einstein was similar, where he would go for these walks, you know, he was nicknamed like the nutty professor, the absent-minded professor, because he would go for these walks thinking about the physics problems he was trying to solve and end up in an entirely different part of town where he was so lost he had to ask for directions back home. This is how involved in this process he was. When we think of motivation, we think about the desire, the drive to achieve a goal. I find that in my own life, the stronger I need to motivate myself, the less I actually like the process that's gonna get me to my goal. So when I think back to the things I've been the most intrinsically motivated to do and the least intrinsically motivated to do, the most motivation for me came for shooting these videos and writing my books because to me, they were things that I had to get out of me. They were messages that I had to share because I didn't see anyone else talking about these things. And also, they were works that I was inherently interested in creating. 
I liked the process of writing for an hour a day. I liked the process of figuring out a cool or unique scripted video. And there were a lot of other things I did in my life that I didn't really like. Like building a business has mostly been a process of non-flow and not really enjoying it that much. So when it comes to you thinking about what do I need to do to stay motivated, like what's wrong with me, my opinion is that maybe you need to start thinking about what is the topic or the subject or the direction I want to go in that's the highest intersection of inherent love for it, for doing it, not the idea of doing it, playing the music, not becoming the rock star, painting, not thinking about becoming like a famous painter, you know, practicing and studying medicine, not this like you have rich, you're rich and you have prestige and you have status from being a physician. What is the intersection of that love of the process? And you're obviously showing that you're gritty because you've stuck with it purely by interest and by excitement. That's what I would focus on instead of figuring out why am I not so motivated. Now, of course, if you're having trouble setting your goals and staying motivated with them, a regular process I do every single day and every week is a certain kind of journaling. So right there in the description box below, below the link for this six minute diary, first of all, go check this out. Awesome product, you can get it on Amazon. And then below that, I've included my free link to the journaling email course. So you can check that out as well.